Hidden Object Guru here with haunt new game Jenny LeClue, Detective You. It's Detective You because there's a umlaut on top of the U. All right, choose your preferred dialogue settings. You can change these settings at any time in the options menu. Obviously, I want the big sub subtitles. I'm not an idiot. All right, let's play it. So apparently this is some sort of mystery game. Hey, uh, which one is selected and which one is not selected? I had the exact same problem when I started this. So many people get this wrong. Obviously, looking at your phone, so your notebook means options. So that is new game. All right, I can't do new game plus because I haven't beaten the game sadly. So blue means yes, white means no. I don't think it makes any people popular, Edward. I think there's plenty of no-name voice actors out there who no one's ever heard of. Uh, but there is, quite recently, in the past 15 years, quite a cult of uh, recognizing and supporting voice <laughs> actors Yeah. that did not exist in the past. What was the thing? Oh, yes. When Scott Thompson was on Andy Richter's uh, yeah. podcast and he started dissing Mark Hamill for being a voice actor. Because, like, voice acting is so easy. And Andy Richter was like, dude, no. no. And totally put him in his place. Yeah. Like, and I love no. Scott Thompson, but in that he was wrong. It's an incredibly difficult job. As, as much as I love Buddy Cole, uh, I will always pick Luke Skywalker over Buddy Cole. Oh, totes. Okay, so, there's a guy in a coat... This is creepy. Why would you say this was totally normal? And now he's starting to whistle! Yeah. I don't know if you were telling them to, that it's creepy, or if you were telling them that you wanted it to be creepy. No, no, you're telling them that it is creepy. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time is available on PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and Microsoft. Nice. You mean Xbox? No, like Windows. Oh. Like PC. Weird. So you can buy it everywhere. Nice. Well, this is strange. And it looks like it recently just came out on Switch. Yeah. Switch. Yeah. No. It always things always come out on Switch later. Which is weird. Hmm. I'm sure there's a reason for it. <coughs> Nice. Like this Jenny LeClue game, this has been out for a year, but it just came out on Switch, as I understand. Yeah. You keep boating, unbelievably creepy dude. Yeah, we'll see about that. What the hell? Oh. So it's like a puzzle? Yeah. You gotta line up the things. Oh, Notice okay. there's a faint straight line yeah, right I see through it. it? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yay, it finished it on its own. Thank you, game. That was correct. Uh, you missed... The end of Samurai Jack. Ending Samurai Jack for the night and playing Jenny LeClue. 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 What the hell? Yeah. There's a secret underground lab? Yeah. What is this game about? I still don't know, and I've been playing it. Okay, this is definitely a weird place for this game to start. I was exhausted and probably Confused. not entirely sober when I started playing this. That was a mistake. Yeah. Damn. Probably should have tied his boat off to that uh, post before going down. Otherwise, they would just have to leave the thing up there, lest the boat float away. Uh, you don't need an A in that word, Pedro. It's just secret with a C-E-C-R-E-T. What the, what's that? Yeah, we all knew what he meant. You don't have to correct the spelling. He's working on his English. Oh, okay. Oh! What? Damn! Oh, I must have dozed yeah. off. Perhaps we need a spot of tea to wake us up. What do you say, Rufus? Oh, look at that 
adorable yes, yes. paper craft right, looking right. dog. Better get back to work. This book won't write it. Maybe I should start somewhere easier. I'll come back to the prologue later. The oh, is he writing the book? Perfect day yep. In picturesque Arthurton. So he's writing the book that we're playing. I think so? That's weird. It's about to get super meta. All right, to let's do it. To the casual observer, Arthurton seemed like any other. It was nestled in a valley between okay. lined by lustrous forests and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. That's nice, but being near two mountains means you're, you know, uh, could it easily be wiped out by essentials, including a place to sit avalanches or rock slides. It had schools, also a college, earthquakes, a church, and a police. It even had a museum no one ever visited. Agatha Christie's. That's what you mentioned to me. Mr. Bean's Coffee Shop. Gale and who's? Dan's Bait and Tackle. Who are Gale and Dan? Oh. Okay, the rest of them are cute references, so I thought Gale and Dan might be a thing. Not that I know of. Alright. It was the kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. Typical. Maybe even forgettable. Okay, nice. But there was one thing in Arthurton that was unlike any other town in the whole... Actually, it was a girl. Her okay. name was... Jenny LeClue. And she was the world's greatest detective. Okay. Finkelstein, residence. Oh, hello, Glenda. Yes, he said he might. Okay, patch me through then. Okay. Oh my god, he's got a painting of his adorable dog. Yep. That's pretty great. Richard? Yes, I got it. I did. And my answer is no. Oh! I understand that, but... Well, yes, of course, but... No, no, no. Nothing is settled. I'm not going to do... It goes against everything my books stand for. Okay. No, not yet. So she, he doesn't want the I books just, sold, adapted? To what I'm saying. We'll see in a minute. Turned into a video game? That would be very weird, because we're playing a video game based on his book. Okay, now I look around. Ooh, tell me more. Hope all is well. Oh no! People aren't buying the books anymore! It's too late for them to cancel orders. Oh. Damn! Oh no. Oh my god, I took the worst bits out. Yikes. Richard Inkwell's the worst. Okay, I don't know why I shoved that uh, mug, but okay. Can we knock that off the table? Come on, you can do it. Don't know why that made me happy. No, I don't want to knock all three. I just wanted to knock one. Um, okay. Good. Alright, Finkel fans. Aw, book 38! Aww. Arthurton will always be a safe and happy pay. Oh, look! It's all of the people who Kickstarter did, did, did the game. Way to go, people. Totally logical place to put it in there, which I like. Okay. Nice. Okay. 
Nice. Well, it seems like this is a very fun series that anyone would enjoy. You want me to turn Jenny's world up? Kill off my characters and destroy everything I've built over the last 30 years? Fine. I'll give you what you want. Uh-oh. I warn you, I'm a stream of consciousness writer, and you have unleashed my fury. Good oh, day, damn. Sir. So it's a... Uh... One of those Nancy Drew kid type characters, and now a bunch of people are going to start dying. Well, if it's murder they want, it's murder they'll get. Uh oh. Apparently, Jenny LeClue is going to start killing people. Okay, probably not Jenny LeClue, but still. Yikes. It should have been another perfect day in Arthurton, but today was different. And nothing would ever be the same again. Oh no. With. Jenny LeClue was dead. What? Her skin was pale, her eyes glassy and frozen. Okay. What cruel fate had befallen our beloved detective? Mrs. LeClue, she's doing it again. Jenny LeClue, you are a dead body. Dead bodies don't talk. Adorbs. Hey, Jeff. But he's doing Hello. it wrong. As wonderful as it would be if all cadavers were so talkative, we must deduce the cause of death without their help. With only the evidence laid before us. I'm glad you got your wife from the fragments the fragments left again. behind. We collect clues, interpret the data, and solve our puzzle one piece at a time until it feels as if the victim is speaking to us. Oh. But Jenny is right, Jonathan. You mustn't disturb the crime scene. Vital evidence could be lost. Sorry, Mrs. LeClue. Okay, you've all had a chance to study the body? Who can postulate how she met her demise? Ooh, uh, me, me. I think it was an accident? Yeah. She obviously wasn't looking where she was going, so she slipped on the wet floor and cracked her head open. Like an egg. Who? And then she bled to death. Really? How can you tell? Well, there's a giant pool of blood around her head. Yeah, I know. I was being sarcastic. Oh. That wasn't clear. Actually, you're both wrong. What? Boom! It was cold-blooded murder. <gasps> murder? Don't be ridiculous. Where's the murder weapon? There's no evidence anyone else was even here. Oh, yes, there is. It was murder. And I can prove it. Aww. This is very adorbs, people. Jenny had read all the books. She'd absorbed all her mother's teachings. But there was nothing quite like getting... How many people get the chance to solve their own... The first step in any good deduction... Was... Seemingly insignificant details could provide a vital piece of... First, I'll search the crime scene for clues. Then she'd analyze the data and finally... Deduce the real cause of death. Well, obviously the green nonsense around her mouth is a, a giant clue. In her lips. It's not lipstick. It's... Poison. Without her trusty bifocals, Jenny could they were her window to the world and the lens through which she focused her keen detective vision. Huh. It wasn't Jenny's style to wear accessories, but this hair clip was the exception. Its function as a lockpick had saved Jenny from a long night trapped in her school locker. She you can lockpick from the since. inside? That's weird. Aha! Uh -huh. Someone what poisoned her. Good coffee. Jenny's love for coffee was almost as strong as her passion for crime solving. Chalky green residue on the rim. <laughs> Smells the like same that's on her lip. Burnt matches? Wait a minute. That must mean... Poison. Jenny's blue sweater was scruffy and quite uncomfortable. But oh, her I grandmother see. admitted it, and so it was her favorite. You should look it up, Edward. The more it itched, the Who closer voiced she Jenny. her. Creepy. There's no doubt the victim lost a lot of blood. When she clonked her head, but it was the poison that killed her. The floor is wet and slippery, but also immaculately clean. And her boots aren't wet. Eight sizes too big. And covered in mud. <gasps> but if she had slept in water, there would be muddy footprints. Time to wrap this case up. 
Jenny okay. is a meticulous record keeper, noting every relevant clue in her trusty journal. All right. A great detective knew that solving a mystery was simply a matter of connecting. I'm certain this wasn't a mere accident. Now I just need to prove it. How do I know okay. the victim didn't slip? Because the wet floor is sleek, squeaky clean, but she had giant muddy boots on. Oh, I have to hold it. The victim's boots are filthy. They should have left big muddy footprints on the floor. So where are they? It's almost as if someone cleaned them. Either someone washed away her footprints, or she was carried here. <gasps> the wet floor makes it seem like someone washed away the footprints, though. Okay, that proves she didn't slip. So how did she actually die? What was the real cause of death? Poison. Some sort of general purpose pisoning pison. There's a green residue in the bottom of the victim's coffee cup. It smells of burnt matches. Phosphorus. Also no! Common garden fertilizer. No! No, um, her voice isn't familiar to me, but I don't listen to a lot of games with the sound on. So I'm not really up on voice the actors. Green mark is on the victim's lips. In video games. Coffee was spiked with fertilizer. What's that? In video games. That's what I just said. I don't so play video games with the sound dad. on. Shush. Awesome work, Jenny LeClue. Ah, the case of the dead lab assistant. Gone before her time. Was it poison? Yes. A blow to the head? Yes. An accident? No. Not. No footprints in an unshattered mug? <laughs> she was killed somewhere else and carried here. <laughs> this is the story of a scorned Jenny. The gardener enacting his revenge. Jenny. A deadly brew of fertilizer and caffeine coursing through. That's quite enough, thank you. Oh, she's doing great. What happens to the gardener? Is this going to be on the test? Remember, class, even the smartest criminals make mistakes. This is how we catch a killer. But what's the point of all this? Yeah, there hasn't been a murder in Arthurton in years. Every town has a dark side, even Arthurton. Oh. Doubting, we are led to question. And by questioning, we arrive at the truth. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget, next class is our field trip to the morgue. So have a light lunch. Aww. Maybe just eat after you visit the morgue. The students need to think for themselves, Jenny. That's why they're here at Gumbolt. To learn. I just figured we all had places to go. Speaking of which... And where are you off to, young lady? I'm a dead body mom, remember? Dead bodies don't tell. See ya! Waka Wait, waka! Before you go, I have something for you. Cool! What is it? If I told you, that would spoil the fun, wouldn't it? The clues didn't simply hand each other presents. They hid them. It was a family tradition, Aww, and Jenny had developed so a sixth creepy. sense for finding them. With her trusty magnifying glass at her side, nothing eluded her. Okay. Let's do it. Really? It's not the huge amount of spilled jam that's the clue? Ah, there we go. A new journal! Yay! For a new case! One journal per case. Aroma of a fresh leather notebook. It smelled like mystery. Without Aww. missing a beat, she did what any detective worth their salt would do. She decorated it. Adorbs. She hearts nerds. Can I get more stickers later? There's no available, I think, right now. Oh, there are? Perfect. A new journal meant new which she imagined all the thrilling cases that would soon fill its page. And on the first page, her mother had written an inscription. A great detective never gives up. Love, Mom. Okay. Let's check the new tab. Find a map and keep it here. Aww. Choosiness! You chose a creepy tune for the mysterious man to whistle. Or you chose something totally normal for the man to whistle. 
Uh, okay, dedicated, strong-willed, and direct. Brilliant leader who inspires others. Jack of all trades, fountain of knowledge, which can be inflexible, emotionally distant. Oh no! I have not watched horror anime, horror king. Uh, I am more of a realist. I am completely logical, and I am halfway between planner and improviser. Okay, but I've only made one choice. How can you possibly say that about me? These are assumed some sort of collectible. I love it. Thanks, mom. Jenny. How do we open up our uh, notebook? No, that's not it. You only do it at certain times. You can only do it at certain times. I wanted to talk about. Um, okay. To say somewhere in the back of Jenny's highly caffeinated brain, her mum was hesitating. What could be causing her to act so out of character? It's a good question. Yay! One of these. <gasps> oh no! Furrowed brow. Jenny saw it coming from a mile away. Her mother was about to get. Emotional. I really gotta go. No, Jenny, wait. I need your help. What? Really? Jenny couldn't believe her ears. It was extremely unusual for her I'll mother say. to ask for help. And yet she did bring her to be, be a corpse. Very important. Tracing the steps of a deranged killer? A cold case that only someone with Jenny's expertise could solve. Aww. I've misplaced the students' essays on decapitation. Jesus! See if you can find them for me before you leave. <laughs> essays on decapit- The hell kind of a class wow. is this? The case of the misplaced papers. Are you sure you want to trust me with such a complex mm -hmm. task? I have oh, no Jenny. doubt you'll be able to find them. They're around here somewhere. Jenny was unsure if her mother was unable to detect sarcasm or just really good at ignoring it. Obviously, I'll help her. I'm not an idiot. Okay, Mom. I'll find them before I leave. On one condition. Yes. You have to let me help grade them. One of Jenny's Aww. favorite pastimes was grading papers. Nothing pleased her more than giving a big shiny F to an overconfident student. Don't push her luck. Wow. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Find the papers and go straight home. But I'm meeting Keith tonight. No buts, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still feeling the effects of being poisoned for your class. Well, then, Aww. I have the perfect antidote. You're staying with your cousin this weekend, and you still need to pack. This again? Oh. Look, I've considered your offer, Mom, and I'm going to have to decline. I'm old enough to take care of myself. I'll be back late tonight. There's meatloaf in the fridge. So you don't trust me to take care of myself this weekend, but you do trust me to fix dinner and not burn the house down? Jenny LeClue, Damn. a difficult week. Could you please just do what you're told for once and stop asking questions? That's I not who you raised, obviously. And try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> when do I ever get By the way, I love that she's like, I'm going to raise my daughter to turn her into a detective by making her search the house for every gift we've ever given her. All right. But now that she wants to figure out everything, I'm mad. You created this. This is entirely down to you. All right. Ah, so is there some sort of a divorce, or did her father die? Looking rather trim today, Ethan. New diet? Okay, that was adorbs. What's the matter? Lost your funny bone? Oof. Can I run? I cannot run. I can only strut. Because what Jenny is doing can only be described as a strut. Becoming a great detective took more than book smarts. You needed real life experience. Damn right. And Jenny was always on the lookout for a chance to get her hands dirty. Ooh. Okay. Essay on decapitation dismemberment due next week. Hmm. Can I flip this thing over? Maybe they're taped to the back? Leaves their coffee unattended. Aww. Never leave your coffee unattended, people. Ever. That's how they poison it with fertilizer. Please do not touch. Hmm. Someone must be running an experiment. Aww. Gross. What the heck? Pretty soon it's gonna sprout legs. That is weird. 
Yes, I bet it was. Why can't I change any more pages? Is someone making poison in there? Alright, if you were papers, where would you be? So she's walking on a 2D plane. Sorry, strutting on a 2D plane. But you can travel... But the whole background is 3D. One of Jenny's earliest memories was making raspberry jam with her mom. It's the perfect substitute for blood in class demonstrations. And Ew. better tasting than the pig's blood the textbook recommends. Ew. Is there any place I haven't checked yet? Hmm. I'm not seeing the dot appear over anything except for the chalkboard. And I guess I haven't fully figured out the chalkboard yet? Oh, okay. There they are. Boom! One of the students' term papers. You can tell by the terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Mom must have put them behind the chalkboard. Damn. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I can also move it. I think Maddie is, is saying people getting killed is not the only thing that makes something horror. And I could only move it after I figured out that they were behind it because one fell on the floor. Found you. I got it. Time to get out of here. It is necessary, but not sufficient. It's not even necessary. You can have perfectly good horror without anybody getting killed. Jenny looked around the room one last time. Was she ready to leave? Uh, I'll have one more look, just to be safe. Oh, now I can run. Okay. Was there any reason to do that? No. Do I enjoy finding out that I can? Yes. Yeah. Well, she runs essentially like a... Uh, the way a bird leaps forward with Jenny each kickoff foot. One last time. Although was people who sprint do that too. I was ready to leave, yes. So she wasn't really dead. That would be silly. No, Jenny was alive and well Aww. and ready for another perfect day in Arthurton. Adorbs. Alright. Cat and dog fighting? Whoa! Over garbage. What the? Damn. I should investigate. Damn right you should, Jenny. Oh, Jenny LeClue. You're the best. Okay. Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. It's a rope bridge. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old pub to Jenny. It was a mystery. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. I should. The case of the puzzling postcard. Anything else to search here? No. Oh, hello. The notice board you was okay a wash with flyers, yeah. personal Pick ads, nothing? and the yeah. occasional piece Ooh. of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a Mom always says, a great detective, focus on the details, and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Aww. This is very cute as detective games go. Missing cat answers to Trevor. I wonder if anyone else this junk. Hold on. Hmm. What's this? Oh yeah, perfect clue's good. Curfew. Oh. oh no, they've extended curfew hours again. 
Oh Nine no. Sunrise? That's ridiculous. But necessary. Power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. Good point. Can I turn this? No. Well, that's weird. So I can't move or rotate this part. I can't check the back of it or get a closer look at that uh, emblem. The emblem in the corner is kind of weird. Am I wrong? Yeah, I've been wrong before. Oh, whoa! Oh, it's a sticker! Cute! Yes, I know I have to find the cat, Pedro. Don't worry. It answers to Trevor. As most cats do. You're covered in you blood, dude. There? Well, I was pruning. Oh, okay. But then I discovered this cerulean bugberry bush. Discovered? It's berry blood. These gotcha. These are all over Arthurton. Actually, this is an incredibly rare bloom. There's nothing rare about Arthurton. I beg to differ. Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants. All right, tell me more, weirdo. Really? Like what? Mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark. Creepy. Berries that emit a bioluminescent mist, and flowers with nectar as sticky as super glue. That's horrific. Where? I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. I've had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strausberry in his greenhouse. Anyway, oh. I should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. Nope. Probably like 90, 96, 97, something like that. Maybe 98. Actually, could have been earlier. Maybe it's a 94 movie. I just remember when it came out in video stores here. It would have been in the late 90s. But, of course, that's North American dub release. Perfect clue. Probably would have come out a bunch earlier in Japan. Signs and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to Ooh. celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. We're all glad to be rid of him. Oh, left. creepy. Left. I said left, damn it. What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? My left. Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? For clarity. So you want me to move it the other way? Yes. Nothing would make me happier. If you're not careful, we're going to have bronze brains all over the floor. I don't think the inside of that sculpture is busy. head is anatomically correct. Weird. Hello, Mr. Strasbury. How are you today? Oh. A jolly gentleman. The dean was also So he's the secret murderer. Kissing babies he's also mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. What do you think, Jenny? The Dean had dedicated his life to Gumboldt, and the townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasbury. It's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Great excuse for a party, though. Okay. <laughs> what will you do when you're no longer the Dean? I've been trying not to think about it. This no idea, Horror King. Things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best. It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we will get through it. I hope, you but you seem very we? creepy. Do you think they made my belly too big? It's probably just the perspective, Mr. Strasbury. <laughs> you are a clever one, Jenny LeClue. Aww. Speaking of which, have you been practicing your detective skills? Of course. Have I? Of course. Always. <laughs> well then, I have a challenge for you. I love challenges. I bet Tell you me can't more. guess what I ate for breakfast. At last, a real challenge for a fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. <sighs> well, hopefully.
Okay. Anything for you, Mr. Stylesbury. Oh, how? But first, I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, it's an interrogation scene. Oh, this just gets cuter and cuter. All right. Any crumbs in his mustache? No. He's wearing a button, though. Dean was a big fan of the Gumball Moonbeams, and not just Moonbeams because his son a good was name a prominent it, figure yeah. on the team. Well, team. a bench warmer, anyway. Damn, you cold, Jenny? It can't be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. Hmm. Did he have a spoon instead of a pen? Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. It's got a coffee stain on it. Ah, sugar and coffee, you say? Solid gold. His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Your Did watch he forget is to wind it? Slow. Is it? Oh my. That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness you noticed, or I'd be late for my. Oh, meal. really? She didn't mention anything to me. Oh, well. Damn. It's nothing important. Why are you meeting then? It's just um, she's helping me finalize my my oh, I party. See. Yes, that's it. My retirement party. Thank are you okay, Mr. Strasbury? Of course. Now let me just fix my watch before I forget. <laughs> <sighs> Now, he has a mysterious we? ring, you say. Fascinating and logical, too. Ipsa scientia potestas est. Oh. Looks like Latin. Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He oh. passed it down to my father, who passed and when the time comes. Oh. The Strousbury family had been champions of education. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. The Makes sense. The spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And nothing is as important as the truth. Creepy. Okay. So that piece of paper in there. Oh, missing button with blood on it. Wait, I'm not allowed to look at the missing button with blood on it? Um, Hi. For the dean, walking through being berries. covered in plant life was not unusual. Because he runs the, was renowned. Yeah, the greenhouse, we know. Ah, oh, there you go. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Strasbury. So it was a couple of years earlier than I, in American well, Lease, I as I suspected. I was referring to your legs. Oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. No, I, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. What? <laughs> oh! Hitchhikers, I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. Oh! They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite... I will say, I am looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. Okay. Why am I not allowed to find out what's going on with this mysterious button? Oh, I have to press Y. Okay, there we go. Missing button covered in blood. Yeah, Dean I know. didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. Hmm. Oh, I'm also allowed to get a closer look at this one. Nice. Shaky penmanship, unusually cluttered, lots of revisions. A thick bundle of note cards poked out of the dean's oh. pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? A speech, He's obviously. A lot of notes, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, I was intending <laughs> to make a speech. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Your mother suggested I keep it short, and quite right too. I must have rewritten it twenty times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. So, what do you think, Jenny? Sure, Mr. Strasbury. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. 
Yay! Mystery solving! What did the dean eat for breakfast? Okay. Alright. Powdered sugar in the bow tie, meaning he had a jelly donut for breakfast. Hehehe. <laughs> Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, maybe two donuts. Also, it wouldn't be a donut with a hole in the middle. It'd be a filled donut with jam inside. Uh, no, just seen one of the what ghosts in the shell animated movies. The Dean's morning? I have not seen a standalone complex. Okay. Because his watch was... Okay, well, the spoon... Means he was in a rush. I know. The dean had neglected to wind his pocket watch. The act of a distracted man. This resulted yep. in his whole routine being thrown off. Which oh. might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. Oh, I agree. Boom! You had a donut for breakfast. Yeah. I'm guessing... Strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> that part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast, but something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Strawberry. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality, but today there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. My, my. Oh. We are a clue. Your father would be so proud. Okay, so he's dead. Thanks. Gotcha. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. And I'm meeting your mother in the library. What a small world this is. Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who Damn. likes you like that? Pardon? I thought Standalone Complex was the second See you on movie. Saturday. Oh well. Well, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny LeClue. Hmm. Suspiciouser and suspiciouser. I'm very suspicious about these people. The telephone, you say? Tell me more. Uh-oh. That's it. Innocence. Gotcha. Well, that's not creepy at all. In her short time as a detective, Jenny had learned never to ignore a ringing phone. Okay. Hello? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. What? CJ, is that you? The dog barks loudest. Really? This again? It's me, Jenny. We don't need to do this. I have no idea who you are, and I know no one by that name. The dog oh. barks loudest before the dawn. Fine. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. Good. The wind blows strongly from the east. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. Excellent. The evening sky Aww. is full of fireflies. The last donut is the tastiest. Ah, Jenny, it is you. Of course it is. I need to meet with you right away. Okay. This is quite a uh, Doc Brown impression. This place will do. Everyone Aww. in town knew that CJ was mad. He... He's not dangerous. He just doesn't accept. Sure, he's a bit fixated on extraterrestrials, but at least... CJ and Jenny certainly indulged each other's obsessions. But most of um... all, CJ treated Jenny like a colleague. And not a little. Adorbs. CJ, why did we go through all that if you're right here? Can't be too careful. Are you sure you weren't followed? Who would be following me? Shh. This place is compromised. We don't have long to talk. It's kind of uncanny. What a good impression he's doing, nah, Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown. What? You called me. Did I? Why? Talking to CJ was a bit like navigating a maze. You had a rough idea of where you were headed. 
but you couldn't be sure you'd ever get I'll help you figure it out. Oh, This is so adorbs. Alright, so obviously him being a tired freak show is not a clue. But what about this sewn over thing? Oh, I see. Oh. It's a, an Illuminati pyramid. With a broken compass. Compass. compass with strange symbols where the cardinal direction should be. Looks broken. Where did you get It's not compass? actually what that is. There were no symbols in the cardinal directions. Ah, you spotted it. I knew you would. It belonged to my father. He left it to me to find the truth. You're not going to find anything with that. The needle is wandering all over the place. A bit like you. It's such a Oof. For what? For them. It's this town, Jenny. It's off it. They're here, among us. And or it could just be broken. Could be. I guess we'll never know. Okay, that's pretty cute. Uh, paper in his hand says... Is it your birthday, CJ? Birthday? Who's Clankson's it? birthday? But Clankson died on his birthday. Who's Clankson? Assassination? A robot? Possibly. Abduction? Almost certainly. CJ, the card? Oh, this. It's for you. Impossible oh. shot. Died instantly. Jesus! No suspects. No human suspects, anyway. Oh my god. Thanks, CJ. That's... I didn't think you'd remember. I know what it's like to lose something important to you. Oof! Now triple shred and incinerate that card as soon as possible! It's got my fingerprints all over it! He's so crazy. Oh, it's not the uh, patch that's a clue? Let's check the shoes again. Yep! He's got something stuffed into his shoe back there. Aliens are among use. What's that sticking out of your sock? Ah! That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I intercepted a secret message. Classified intel. Ooh, tell me it's more. It's happening again. It's time for us to join the fight. I like the sound of that, I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't look like the kind of pamphlet he usually makes. Coming for your pets! Trevor, the cat is missing. It's been professionally printed. Could CJ finally be on to something? Also, those look a little like sombreros. Okay. Can't look at the back, huh? Alright. Oh. It's just part of a cereal box. Oh. A cereal box from another space-time Nope. Just a regular cereal box. But why? Why would it just be lying there in the trash? Oh, poor guy. He's I'm so sorry, crazy. CJ. There are still great mysteries out there to solve. I did. Thumbs up emoji. But this isn't one of them. So what's the plan now? Library. Research. Very important. Very hush hush. They let you back in? Not yet. But I've got this hut now. It wasn't your head that needed covering. No, for the sky. I know, CJ. What is it this time? More UFOs? Radio wave mind control? A globally connected communication network used exclusively to view pictures of cats? Jenny, you sound crazy. Aww. I'm just preparing my defense for the hearing. Is this because you tried to hypnotize Mrs. Brown's prize pool? No. That was last week. It's because I peed in the water tower. Ew. CJ, that's gross. And this is the thanks I get for saving everyone from the mind control chemicals. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. But CJ Damn. was gone. CJ, I know you're standing behind the phone booth. I just watched you walk over there. No, I'm not. Okay, then. Bye. See you later. Adorbs. Hey! Ah! Oh, Damn. no! That's the third time today. Oops. Hi, Jenny. I have a solution. Tie them on before you fill them with healing. Today. 
It's really cute, the way that you and your mom work together. I wish I was that close with my parents. Enough chit-chat. Got anything new for me? Oh, yes. Aww. This is the real deal. Hot off the haven't had a chance to distribute these yet, so keep them to yourself. Ada and Jenny belonged to one of the oldest society, an eclectic band of treasure hunters. Together, they were known as Sticker Club. Aww. For generations, Gumball students had been hiding. Officially, Jenny was too young to join. But she'd found so many stickers on her own that they'd made her an honorary member. This is adorbs. Yeah, CJ is great. Again, he's just dark brown, but he's nice so more edges, so entertaining. Colors. Thanks. I spent all week making these. If only you spend as much time in your schoolwork, you might not be failing my mom's class. Burn! It's to celebrate the dean's retirement. I'm super sad that he's leaving. It's a perfect reason to make new stickers. Exactly. Oh, we're going on an epic sticker hunt before the dean's party. You should join us. Even if Jenny Yay! had wanted to join them. And I don't. She knew she'd be oh. stuck with her cousin all weekend. Damn. Thanks, but I work alone. Oh. Okay. See you around, Jenny. Okay. Oh, is it near Halloween? Because those are some prop bats. Lake Nowhere, one mile. I think I've seen everything here. You're gosh darn right, I'm s decisive. What the hell? Oh no! Perfect! Hold it right there! Okay, let her go. Oh! See, it's a terrifying omen because oh, later dear. on the, ma the Dean actually will get his head cut off. That was ominous. And then we're going to look into it because the students just did a course on decapitation. Detective for Hire. Jenny had saved up the whole summer to place an ad in the local paper. Aww. But no one had answered it. Until now. What could this new case be? Her imagination ran wild, picturing the possibilities. And so, after helping her mom at Gumbolt College, she hurried to the pier at Lake Nowhere to rendezvous with her new client and crack another thrilling case. Ah, so it's the Dean's son who wanted it. Yeah, you know that's just a guess, Hoguru. Anyway, we're going to take a pause here on Jenny LeClue, detective <laughs> I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. This game has the thing I respect most. A little thing that tells you how long till, since you last saved. Thanks, game. If you have any questions, comments, drop them in the comment section below the video. We'd love to hear from you. Um, yes, uh, join us back here in the next item on the playlist for more Jenny LeClue. I'll be playing it. I might not be narrating it. Uh, but we should be having a blast because this game is wonderful. See you back here for that, but until then, oh no! Uh, au revoir.